today. Today I'm going to show you my new purchase, the Red Rider BB gun from Daisy. Oh yeah. Hold on, let's check out the box. Classic. Okay, let's crack this beast open. Dandy operations manual. Ooh. Okay. We got a zip tie. Okay, I need a scissors. Okay, I need to get my knife sharp. Okay. Yeah, it's got a nice load of oil on that. That's good. Yeah, these BB guns came out a very long time ago. Like, I remember my dad had one. All dads had one at some point in time. But I've been, I've been meaning to get one of these. Since last year, I bought one for my niece, who was the pink one. And I finally uh, buckled down, saved some money, and now we've got it. Just gonna do a dry fire here. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, the spring is really strong. It's got a good, good grip, it's solid. Nothing rickety or rackety in it. It's just good to check this when you first buy a gun. So yeah, an American tradition, even though I'm Canadian. So yeah, let's say on the box here. Uh, always read instructions. Point gun in the safe direction. Blah blah blah. Lever cocking spring air action. Uh, 177 caliber. Smooth bore steel barrel. Blade and ramp front adjustable rear sights. Stock is stained solid wood. Safety is cross bolt trigger block. Capacity 650. The maximum velocity is 350 feet per second. The maximum shooting distance is 195 yards. Overall length is 35.4 feet. Or no, 35.4 inches. Weight is 2.2 pounds. So this is what you need for planking, having fun in the backyard. Uh, you can maybe do small game with it. I've seen some videos where they're taking out bullfrogs, but there's no big bullfrogs where I live. So if I was going to shoot a small varmint, I'd probably just use my 22. You know what I mean? Just to be more humane that way. So yeah, let's load up some shots. Whew. It is a hot day today. So yeah, I just got the basic Crossman BBs. The uh, 1500 count. I usually go for the 6000 or the 12000, but they were fresh out. So, the way that you load this beast, the way that you load it, it's got the little uh, loading bay here. Just open the uh, little doorway there. Grab your ammunition here. And then just pour it in. Be spilling a few, but that's okay. Yeah, they're stopping at the table there. So yeah, and then once that's done, once you got it loaded, click that down, and then you're good to go. And then you just cock it. Keeping the safety on, but now it's loaded and ready to go. I got a little steel target up there, so I'm gonna take a shot with it. First shot with my new Red Rider 
BB gun. Daisy Red Rider BB gun. Okay, fire in the hole. It works. Well, it definitely gives you your, uh, your fix if you're dying to go to the range. It's got the same effect. You pull the trigger, bing! Only thing is there's no explosion um, with a bullet. So, you know, you don't get the, the bang out of it. But this is still fun. It's still the fundamentals of shooting, you know what I mean? Um, this is a great tool to teach people how to use firearms safely, especially uh, the youngsters, you know what I mean? Yeah, this thing is, I can already tell I'm going to have a blast with this one. <laughs> Shooting in the backyard, gotta love it. Okay, I'm going to turn the safety on. I'm just gonna take a nice look at this thing. That is, it's a work of art, folks. The wood grain is uh, is really beautiful on it too. They got their awesome logo there. That's really cool, I like that. Now that isn't on the pink one. The pink one is just flat. But yeah, uh, no, I'm really glad that they had this at the store because 99.9% um, .9 of the time they have the pink one there, it's just, I could sure I could buy it and paint it black or buy it and paint it camo, but it'll always be known as the pink gun. The second that paint chips and the boys see that you got some pink on there, they're gonna be asking you some silly questions. Anyways, shoot another one off. That's so fun. So yeah, that was um, I think it was eighty nine dollars Canadian. Yeah, eighty nine dollars at Canadian Tire decent get your hands on these before they're banned eh <laughs> um, so yeah the family sporting tradition since 1940 1940 that's quite a while ago but yeah this came out in 1940 they've had the same style I think um, that's just the materials get cheaper and cheaper um, but yeah I, I remember my dad's was it was all metal um, this one, this is polymer or plastic. This is all metal, but only the handle here and the trigger is plastic. Which, um, is I guess my only gripe with it. It still works, but you just can't be flinging it around like a cowboy because you'll end up breaking it. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a couple more shots with this one. I'm about 35 or 40 feet away, um, and my target is about one foot by one foot. It's not the most intense shooting in the world, but it does the trick, you know what I mean? Yeah, what we did is, um, with my niece, is what we did is we lined up pop cans, and you shoot them, they fall over. It's fun to shoot stuff, and it has a reaction to it, you know? Just like the metal, you shoot it, goes ping, you know, you get a little giddy and excited. If you're shooting a paper target, you know, you're just, you're shooting just that paper, you know, pretty boring. Oh, I could do this all day. Chances are I will be doing this all day.
decent. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll uh, catch you on the next one. Stay heavy.